Guys, in this video, let us look at uh, this Plasmodium vivax, vivax, okay? Life cycle, let us look at, okay? Life cycle, actually, this diagram, life cycle of Plasmodium vivax, you will have to draw this if they ask in the exam. This has been asked in the exam, so you will need to know more about this. Just as a brief, let us just look at what we have seen so far in malaria. <clears throat> malaria is a, is a disease caused by plasmodium parasite this plasmodium comes under protozoa sporozoa some change here we have made from the previous video according to the panicker textbook this is actually coming under phylum epicomplexa and class sporozoa so don't go with this one let's go with or let it be wait kingdom protozoa Phylum Epicomplexa class Sporozoa genus Plasmodium. Okay. So this part is correct. Order and genus are correct. This phylum is wrong. Let's change this. So phylum epicomplexa, api, api complexa, or however you want to say. Because <clears throat> what is this api complexa? Because they have an apical complex by which uh, they possess the they can attach to host cells. Who possesses this apical structure? It's the plasmodium, not the mosquito, guys. Hope you are clear on that. Okay. They possess apical complex. Who possesses? Plasmodium possesses. Okay. Because of which they can uh, bind to the, uh, attach and penetrate the host cells. So we are talking about plasmodium. Malaria, old disease. Here, one small thing you should note. RBCs containing merozoites rupture. Okay. And gametocytes can be there, which can be there even in the plasma or inside the RBC. Those are taken up by the mosquito. Gametocytes fuse to form something called as U, U kinety. Okay. Uh, that then develops into sporozoites. Sporozoites are uh, taken up by humans. Same thing life cycle only will cover in this video. Just a revision. We are checking what and all has changed. Vivax, ovale, falciparum, malaria. In exam, don't write like this. Okay, write full. Plasmodium, vivax. Because they just think that you should not write so much of shortcut. Okay. Moving on. Definitive host is mosquito. Why? Because in mosquito only sexual life cycle happens. So you should know man is intermediate host for uh, malaria. It's very different because everywhere the definitive host will be man. But here only the intermediate host is man. Okay. Okay. Then one more change here that we wanted to make. See there are so many types of malaria here. Benign tertian malaria, it is the word is tertian, malignant tertian to malaria, benign quartan malaria. What does this mean? Okay, see, tertian means every three days spike in fever, quartan means every four days spike in fever. Okay, you guys, look at this malaria. <clears throat> What do you mean by quartan? Just look at this. We'll give some explanation here. Febrile paroxysms. Paroxysms means randomness, right? Anytime it can happen. Febrile paroxysms occur every fourth day with 72 hour interval between the bouts. Okay, 72 hours is actually 3 days, isn't it? But it is quartan malaria. Shall we move on? Acute falciparum malaria is most dangerous. Clinical features, periodic bouts of fever with rigor, febrile Pasoxyps or paroxysms? 
paroxysms, paroxysmal. Then splenomegaly, tropical splenomegaly, tropical splenomegaly syndrome. Relapse and recurrence in uh, mal relapse in vivax and ovale. The relapse is occurring because of the hyp hypnozoids. These will be like lying dormant somewhere, like as though they are hypnotized. So, the hypnozoids will be there only in vivax and ovale, remember. And other recurrence in falciparum and malaria is due to persistence of the parasite itself. Okay, right? Is this clear, guys? Moving on. Demonstration. ICT, rapid immunochromatographic test, treatment chloroquine and now let us move on to the life cycle of Plasmodium vivax. If you have thought that you have not learnt anything much in this video, don't worry, now we will do it. Life cycle of Plasmodium vivax, nothing different than what you have seen. Zoom it. <clears throat> Let's check here. The mosquito injects the sporozoites during blood meal. See why they are saying female anopheles mosquito all the time? Because female can go deep. They have a, a sharper uh, mouth or something there. And they bite deep and they will inject the sporozoites. If they themselves are infected, the mosquito will inject the sporozoites. Sporozoites go to the liver. That is liver. First place they go liver. In liver they multiply. Then they become a schizoint. Schizoint. Schizoint is nothing but a hepatocyte or any cell which actually contains these parasites. So schizoint. Now the schizoint will rupture and release what? Merozoites. You have already seen this in the introduction, right? Where we gave a brief overview. Now these merozoites are released from where? From the liver. Now what happens? These merozoites are going to invade the RBC. They, uh, RBC has a receptor which helps the merozoites enter the RBC. Now, the merozoite enters the RBC. Here you can see a ring structure. Can you see this ring structure? This ring structure here, guys. This ring structure here. So, this ring structure is actually the early trophozoite. So, the merozoite became a trophozoite. Then it is a late trophozoite. Then there is a mature schizoph... Shy schizoint, schizoint, schizoint. Now again, this has a lot of merozoites. It is going to rupture and release a lot of merozoites. Now these merozoites, they again attack a new RBC and continue like this. Ring stage, early trophozoit, <coughs> late trophozoit, <coughs> mature schizoint, etc. Some of these merozoites decide, I don't want to enter the RBC and they become gametocytes. So there's a female gametocyte and a male gametocyte. These are not fused here. Because in man it's only asexual life cycle. If they have to fuse, they have to go to mosquito. So they are waiting, you know. When will this mosquito bite me? When will it pick me up? Like this. Now what happens? The mosquito comes and bites. And a new mosquito or an old mosquito or a mosquito has to come and bite this infected man. Now the mosquito picks up these gametocytes. Now in, in the mosquito what happens? There is microgamete and macrogamete, obviously, right? So there are two gametes which have to fuse and when this fusion occurs, the fertilization occurs, a zygote is formed. It is actually called as a ukinete, ukinete, ukinete. And this ukinete will develop. Ukinete penetrates the epithelial lining of the mosquito stomach wall. Now it penetrated the stomach wall. And what happens later? The oocyst, oocinity becomes oocyst. See, it crossed this membrane, became here oocyst. It's growing, growing, growing. <clears throat> and it is releasing sporozoites. Now, the mature oocyst ruptures liberating sporo sporozoites, which reach the salivary gland of the mosquito. Actually, it will be there everywhere in the mosquito, but salivary gland is favorite spot, comes there. And then the mosquito, if it bites, any human, again, it will start injecting these sporozoites. Easy? 
let's revise this again in the next video okay this video is already very long see you bye bye